All right, let's see. We're going live. We're live. We're live. Hey, what's happening, everyone? Officially live with a couple of the pandas living up in Rochester, New York. I know this might take a minute to get started here. Can you hear? If you can hear, give a thumbs up or a comment. Let's see. Hey, we can hear you. Hello. All right. All right. Roof fire. All right. What's Much happening, love. Gray? Yeah. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We're just here at uh, Eli's apartment. The boys couldn't make it. Tried to get everybody here, but uh, everybody spread out a little bit. So we had some tech tech issues. Tried to do it digitally, but couldn't make it happen. So uh, Eli and I are here hanging, and uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for being so uh, are, uh, bummed that we can't be hanging out with our with our other homies, but that's the way it goes. And strange times right now, but uh, here we are nonetheless. Maurice, what's up? How you doing? Hi, pandas. Is that is that uh, our, your friend there? Yeah, that's uh, that's Maurice, our good friend Maurice oh, from nice. the Merry Rockers. Oh, right, 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 right. What's Maurice up? from the goes back with Panda many years. Love it. Love it, love it. Nice, nice. So stay hydrated. That's number one. Me and Dylan are enjoying some sparkling water. Nice. Oh, here we go. We got a question yeah. from Miss Whitney Young. Hey. Uh, how are you guys keeping occupied during the quarantine? Well, what, do you, what, do you, what have you been doing? You're looking huh? at it. Staying healthy. Staying hydrated. Yeah, social listen. distancing. A lot of social distancing, trying to stay positive throughout this bizarre time, playing music, yeah, just keeping keeping positive, hanging with family. And uh, fortunately, the weather's been nice despite despite all this uh, madness. And so we're just adapting to uh, to everything going on. Yeah, can definitely foresee a. Um... <laughs> oh, here comes another question. Do you guys have any secret hidden talents? Oh boy! Um, what's up, y'all? Oh, Chase the what's Art is here. Yeah, we got what's a friend. Up? We got a homie from uh, the Bay Area. What's going on? How you doing, friends? Chase the Art says, "Sup, y'all." Nice. Good times in Berkeley last month. Yes, wish absolutely. We, wish we could have stayed a bit longer. Hopefully, back soon. Oh, we got a request. We got a couple requests coming in here. Um, all night Maybe music. Right. That's all night a good music. One. Oh man! Hey, Tim. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, yeah, sorry we couldn't make it to um, to Reggae Rise Up, you know. But uh, we'll see you in October. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. What's up, Massachusetts? Definitely staying safe, Scott and Gabby. Yeah, Portland, what's up? Big love, Jeff Bond. Thank you. Portland, got to get to Portland. Been a long time. So what was the question? Do you have any secret uh, <laughs> secret talents? Dylan, you want to go first? <laughs> None that I can really discuss on here. Yeah, I, I mean, I, <laughs> I have to get back to you on that. Oh, you know what? I don't know if you guys can hear that. You ever heard that before? There you go. That's impressive, man. Yeah, not many people can do that, as far as I'm concerned. But <laughs> yo, Dylan is champion, a champion. True. Yeah, I, Dylan, yes, I explain, indeed. Dylan, explain to me how you. Uh, because yeah. I think one of the other pandas told me about how you were a wrestler back in the day. Yeah, yes, back in back in the nineties, yeah. I did uh, do a little bit of wrestling, uh, and uh, I was pretty competitive. Oh yeah, at that, at that in that era. That's really cool. Uh, Chase you know, the Art says you were an island champ. Island champ, true. That's hey, awesome, dude. Devin, what's happening, bud? What up? Much what love, up? brother. Miss you guys also, man. Um, hoping to get to California soon. Yes. Oh, here's a great question, Mary Rockers. If each of you could describe your life in one reggae song, what would it be and why? Oh, wow. That's a good one. That is a good Dale, one. Dale, you go first. You're the reggae oh, expert. Man. Well, I'll go with uh, maybe Roots Rock Reggae. Mario Roots Rock Lee. Reggae? Nice. I'll go with that. Oh, so that comes to mind. Here's, the, here's I got, I'm just going to go away and grab something that will answer this question. What else we got? Yeah, I got to get back to South Bend for sure, man. Vegetable buddies. Just got this the other day. 
There you go. This is a this is a great nice. one. Nice. This is a great one. It's got a lot of good tracks on it. Um, you know, we should even like spin some of this. Yeah, we should have in some, the background. Yeah, play some music. Get some Marley music going on. Throw some tunes um, on. It. Thank you all again for joining us, man. And and the questions. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> nice. I don't know. So, uh, so, so yeah, man. Um, got some shows coming up in. We got some shows coming up in April. Got some Canadian dates, Toronto. Um, uh, got a Boston thing. Hopefully, these shows do end up happening in April. You know, we're just kind of waiting to hear how everything goes. But um, hopefully, we see you folks in April in Boston and New Hampshire. And somebody just asked months. us. Cooter Scooter asked, did you buy 500 rolls of toilet paper? To answer your question, Cooter Scooter, we did not. We have not. We feel like we are ample. Uh, we, have, we, are, we are supplied. Um, we have ample, ample su supplies at this point. Not, not our biggest concern here. Thank you for, for asking. High demand, however, these high days demand off, no doubt, sure. nonetheless. And we're coming back to Cincinnati. Been a long time since we've been in Cincinnati, and, and, and yes, um, been there a couple times, but it's been it's been uh, a year or so, or, or a couple years. So, hoping to get back there, uh, Mariah. Yeah. Gray asks, "What were the first guitars you ever bought?" Ooh, that's a good that's one, a Gray. Good one, Gray. First, man, I think I, I I believe I had a Memphis guitar. Woo! A Memphis guitar. Put on it back. I had a couple Flying V's. Whoa! I, this is news to me. I think we got to get the Flying V's back in the. I had a Kramer as well. Cream. Oh, there's Shredder. Yeah. yeah, that's like the uh, like the carbon, right? Yeah, similar model. Similar. Um, first guitar I ever bought oh, was yes. an Alvarez, and I have it tattooed on my hands. Nice. Um, and it's right now it is in storage, but it should definitely be out. Alvarez, that's the headstock logo. Oh, that is nice. nice. Well, it's first electric. Yeah. Hi, hi, Tony. Tony's Tony. Hey. Hi, Tony's here. Kramer, great. Kramer is great. Nice. Jeff. Kramer is great, no doubt. Um, hey, Tony. Tony, we wish you could be here. Tony is now is currently quarantined in Buffalo. <laughs> Bummer. Uh, ever coming back to Cincinnati? We yeah, probably will yeah. be coming back to Cincinnati. Got to make that happen. Um, what was the inspiration for Good Love? There you go. Nice question. Um, so yeah, yeah, Chris. I know Chase the Art is you. Um, <laughs> I was trying to. <laughs> I was trying to be cool and act like I didn't know that. But uh, what was the inspiration for Good Love? Um, that's a good question. So I was I wrote that song in kind of a really really bad time in my life and made what's the saying lemon lemonade. lemonade I made lemonade yeah. and I tried to put all that stuff into a positive message. And uh, I think for me a big part of songwriting too now that I'm kind of like on a path to sobriety is is being honest as possible um, in your music, which is something that's like not easy, but it doesn't have to be hard. Like you can, you know, stand true to what you know, your values and like, you know, being real about yourself is the only way to like really learn and grow from, from stuff. And fortunately I had the opportunity to, to, to track that tune with Panda and it was um, a great time and hopefully many more to come. And yeah, thanks for asking. Uh, let's see. What else we have here? Is there a new album on the way, Cooter Scooter? There, there, there is a new album on the way. We've we've we did a session a couple months ago and did a handful of tunes. And uh, in April, we're going back to uh, do a few more uh, a few more days in the studio, and and we hope to have something out. There's no set date, but hoping you know in the next uh, you know a year at the at the latest and certainly some hopefully some singles in between that time so again yeah back in the studio in april and definitely um eager to get back and and uh and start recording some music yeah no doubt really excited looking forward to new panda music and um everything that oh dylan you got a good question coming in what do we got dylan what is your writing process like uh right on man um my writing process is really Bass, mostly on acoustic guitar. I don't do a lot. I don't use a lot of um, programs and things. It's really just uh, acoustic guitar. Oh, it's uh, acoustic guitar. Speak of the devil. Look at that. Acoustic guitar and uh, and my phone and just try and get some inspiration. Get a nice rhythm. 
going and uh and a nice melody and just try and not overthink it and find some inspiration and and then uh, bring it to the group and then we all kind of uh you know contribute our parts and and uh, fine tune it and so that's really uh that's really it man just sitting with an acoustic guitar and trying to find some inspiration yeah great question nice one a scooter scooter says funk yeah keep those jeans high and tight it's <laughs> fine all right First time I've ever heard that. That was awesome. You guys are 30 mile run. Oh, oh. nice, William. Nice Yo, one. William Money. Th Thank you, bro. Miles. Thank you. He That's says, impressive. Oh, yeah. William Money, you guys are my favorite band. I listened to your album during a third. Wow, 31 miles. Oh, my God. Very cool. Somebody <sighs> says my mirror looks like a window. Well, who's to say that it is a mirror? It might be, it maybe it is a window. Hey, what's up, Dan? And uh, no, that this is we're at Eli's place in Rochester, and that's uh, Eli's mandolin. Yeah, we're down to, to me, actually. Oh, hang on, slightly out of tune, but yeah, this is uh, I bought this mandolin as a project for one of my uh classes in college, uh, about like exploring genres and like uh like challenging yourself to like branch out musically and i and i bought this tune uh i brought this instrument and i wrote a tune on it and i shared it with the class so maybe that's something we can get into um what's your favorite color thank you tony eli who did uh we have a question from from Bro. jeff what's happening jeff for eli who did you play with before panda that's the question Oh, who did you? That, uh, so I played with a band called Upward Groove, um, and I played with a, a, a lot of a lot of bands actually. It's kind of a long list. Um, band called Mrs. Scanato. Uh, another band called um, I play currently with a band called Able Bodies, which is a very fun time. Uh, it's like '80s retro pop. But it's a, it's really fun music, um, and I also play with a um, young man named Jack West. You might have heard of him. A uh, young 15-year-old kid who's really crushing the rock and roll scene, grunge style. Really, really talented dude. Uh, so, yeah. A lot of questions coming in right now. And we got a question from uh, – uh, what – wait, what was it? Oh, how did Missing You More come about? And M Missing You More is a, a wonderful song by James that I see that uh, Chase the Artist letting you know. But James wrote that song in, in Ghana, West Africa. And if I, I believe it was in 2002 or 2003, while he was in Ghana uh, th through his college, and just before he came back to Rochester, and we, we kind of started playing Panda full time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good question. Great tune as well. Most embarrassing oh shit live performance moment. Oh boy, you're really pulling it out. Well, I had one when I was uh, we were touring in Colorado with JBB, John Brown's body here from Ithaca. And, um, <laughs> I'd love to hear this. They, they asked me to come in and uh, sit in on a tune there, a tune, uh, I think it was called Struggling, and then do the guitar solo and stuff. And just as the guitar solo came up, my strap <laughs> fell. And uh, Elliot had to like, you know, maneuver my strap and get it, you know, positioned again. So that was kind of a- uh, That's classic, yeah, but that's, that's a, that's a prime great. example of brotherly love right there. Yeah, Somebody true. coming through to help you out. Favorite member um, of, I don't know. <laughs> Chris asks, what's your favorite password and to what account is it? <laughs> I love it. Um, not to be determined. Maybe if we, we, maybe we'll get there in a minute. If I can think of an account that I really don't care about. And it's on the live yeah. record. Is, yeah, and it's right. on the live. Yeah, that was the one they used on the, on the record. Who are you guys listening to, says Matt Fisher. Yo, Dylan showed me a new song that I've been listening to nonstop. Reggae artist Mortimer. That's what I've been um, listening to. Track I've called to. Lightning. Um, an amazing, an amazing artist with really catchy melodies and rhythms. It's like it's like an R and B reggae record. It's really, really good. Check it out. The name of that. Um, Lightning on Easy Star. Lightning on Easy Star. It's on Easy Star Records, and it's yeah, really, really great. And he just put out a new single. As well, it's a little more up. It's a little bit more upbeat rhythm, but it's super, super good. That's what I. That's what I've been bumping, and of course, I've been bumping some Pachiman, new record. Pachiman at 30, live time. at thirty three house, three thirty three house. Really good, really good. 
Record. Also, Quran Bin has been something uh, that I've been uh, digging yeah. into quite a bit over the last six months. Favorite member of uh, Article Sound System? Oh, that's that's impossible. Every oh, wow. every that band is a unit is are just really sweet people, and we yeah. just toured with them and they were really nice and very cool. They wrote us like handwritten was, notes. By yeah. the way, thank you very much that for that. A, hope to link up soon with yeah, those guys. Quality. Those guys are oh, very sure. very very tight. Article Sound System, uh, Article with a K. Nice, Tim. You you know Mortimer? Yep. We just got turned on to Mortimer, so that's uh real fresh. Um, yeah. Chris got – oh, yes. Chris got me on to Andy Schaff as well. I've never heard a man make two clarinets sound so beautiful in my life. That is – Hey, hey Dan, in stuff. Toronto, we, we, we do plan to go be in Toronto in April. Is it April? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, May. Sorry. May. It's, we'll it's be in, in Toronto in May. It's in May. Uh, Check out the dates on our site because I don't know them. I don't have Yeah. You know what, man? Given all that's going on, that's, that's tough. But we plan to move forward as planned. And um, take care of what needs to be taken care of. Put, prepare for the good and the bad. So yeah. we know just as much as everybody else right now, unfortunately. So, but we it is in our hearts that we will be in Toronto yeah. in May. Uh, Bands we'd like to tour with. Kelly Burns. Hello, oh, Kelly, Kelly Burns. Hey, Kelly. What's happening? Hello. Somebody asked if I could play a song on uh, mandolin. Are y'all single? I'm going to be careful how I answer no, that question. No. 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 no none of us single. are single. Uh um, plans for Charleston. Any plans for Charleston, South Carolina? Hoping, I, yeah, hoping to get to Charleston. No, nothing nothing in the works right now, man, but we always – we passed through Charleston quite a bit over the years and um, hoping to get back uh, – hoping to get back soon, man. I just realized I'm not supposed to be touching my face during this time, and look at me like a like a fool. Oops, hang on. Sorry, one second. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see. You catch you guys all the time at the trough, and be nice to have you on this side. Right on, man. Thank you so much. Yo, Tim, you're you're welcome on the order, man. Thanks for oh, nice. thanks for uh, supporting, bro. Yeah. Mary Rockers. Yes. Absolutely. Mary Rockers got to make it happen sometime. Play a tune? Oh, man. Do you want to – what tune do you want to – Dylan, you want to – here. Do you want to grab us? What are you thinking? Give me something in G. Are we in tune here? Oh, you yeah. know. Hang on, we're gonna tune. <laughs> Eli and Dylan, oh, nice. tell each other what your favorite thing about the other is. Oh, that's uh, so sweet. That is sweet. We could go on all day here. Yeah. My favorite thing about Dylan is his uh, calm and cool nature and overall kindness and uh, having me in the band and not only that, but just outside of the band as well, just being a really cool dude and very knowledgeable person when it comes to music and somebody I've always looked up to, Dale. All right. Well, thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. But, uh, I, would say, I would say the same to Eli, man. It's just been a real pleasure playing with him over the last you know, nearly a year. And, uh, uh, you know, this band's gone through a lot of changes. We all just rolled through the changes, so it's always uh, – been a pleasure. Uh, thanks, bro. Pleasure playing with you, man. Yeah, sure. and now we're gonna do some like playing like we've never done before live. So we'll see how it goes. I know a few chords on the mandolin. Yeah. All right. What are you thinking about? Let's see. Um, Jill, you need a pick? Sure. All right. I'm gonna right, get a couple. Not, not crucial. I got it. You got it. Okay. I might need to go for this Mando. It's probably a little bit more crucial that I have a pick. So I'm going to do that. Dill's going to start us off on a tune. Well, yeah, what do we got here? Absolutely, Tim. Matt. Thanks for thanks for tuning in, bud. Just waiting for Eli to come back, and we're going to decide what tune to play here. All right. Ha <laughs> 
Savage. All right, we're gonna get some live jamming. Oh, Dan asks, have you ever had to use any strange objects for a pick? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I did Brian May style a couple times, which is nice, uh, which is the quarter or the nickel, which is just probably horrible for your strings. Good question. Are we trying to do that one? Let's do it. Um, this well, someone just requested solution, which yeah, haven't played in in a very long time, but we'll go out on we'll go out on a limb and give it a shot. <laughs> uh, Chase the art. I want to use two tree branches for drumsticks at a live show. What? That, and that is a true story. No way. Sure. What, he forgot his sticks? I... You got this chill, Dill, he says. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's give it a shot. Y'all can, yo, let us know if we, if, if the, if there's volume issues. <laughs> Find a solution. Got to keep on positive. Got to find a solution. Got to keep on positive. Let the feeling show. Soon our troubles will be gone. The sun will shine over. Yes, each day we growing closer. To find a solution, got to keep on positive. Got to find a solution, got to keep on positive. Let the feeling show, soon our worries will be gone. The sun will shine over, yes, each day we grow in closer. To find a solution, got to keep on positive, got to find a solution, got to keep on positive. been a while and i apologize uh you want to know a fun fact i've never played that song with dylan or the band before so that was a good that was a good suggestion yeah, that was a good test right. of uh that one required a little review so yeah my apologies no, but that was, we'll, we'll get back to that that was fun we need we need uh <laughs> let's see what we got sick fade thank you <laughs> oh man live and travel man that, that, that's when we've been it's well, been constant pretty Pretty constantly and uh, love it. Well, uh, thanks, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Live and Travel is one that's been in pretty constant rotation for a while now. Bernard Cafasso is obviously bass man. Searle, Searle J. Swiss is a tune. Classic, classic. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, let's see. Nice feeling. Yeah, been a long time on Nice Feeling, also. Yeah, nice feeling, man. That's a great tune. Dylan's got a bunch of really, really, really fire for tunes that are Thanks, really man. fun to play. Thanks, man. Um, um, oh, says who says it's a very fit? Nice feeling. Yeah. Some road stories from Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Well, there the the one that comes to my mind the most is when we were in Colorado, um, probably about ten years ago, and we decided to take a a late evening hike onto uh, <laughs> a gigantic mountain. I heard about this story. Uh, at the Poudre, Poudre Canyon. And um, it was James, <laughs> myself, and um, Buddy, and a couple other people. And we ended up going like around 5 o'clock at night. By the time we decided to uh, go back down the mountain, it was very dark, and we were all a bit disoriented. And, and it was looking as though we were going to be – like yeah, in for on the, totally on the, in for on the we were gonna have to call in the the, the choppers and the rescue 
mission, but all worked out and we, we uh, ended up getting down safely, but it was a very scary time. Since you boys. Luckily, the next time we went to, well, the most recent time we went to Colorado, we didn't have any, any problems. In fact, our boy. Uh, yes. Joel, right? Joel, Joel was offered Rain. us. Uh, was, yeah, we, we, uh, we did some good hanging in Colorado. What were, shoes were you wearing on this hike, says Kelly? <laughs> I think they might. They were. They were definitely penny loafers. They were definitely dress shoes on this hike. So, yeah. Do, do, yes. Yeah, that's, that, that may be true. Yeah, there's a lot of tunes that. Yes, yeah, so there's a few tunes that we don't get into the rotation. Um. Dan Neal, uh, oh yeah, about about forty. Just a note on forty-five. Yeah, it's 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 a tune that uh. Um, I think we've all like loved personally. It's like weird that it was spun out in a way that people kind of thought it to be like a pro gun thing, which, you know, as James being the primary songwriter of that tune was not cool with, um, yeah. you know, and for valid, valid reasons. And, uh, uh, maybe it was an ironic take on the phallic nature of guns, Dan Nealon. Uh, never thought of it like that, but. That's what the beautiful part of music's. Another, and yeah. uh, love you too, Mike Martinez. Mike, what's up, bro? Stay safe, brother. Yes, and, and T Dubs, Trouble Deep. It's been a while on that one. Trouble Deep's a good one, man. That's been a, a while. Man. Science. We Science. need Swiss. We do. Yeah, that's. Uh, wait, separate ins. Oh, Chris. Some, Chris has a story back on that on the Colorado mountain vibe. Uh, there was the mountain lion thing. There was a the mountain lion. <laughs> that did happen. That is so funny. Thanks for uh, – thank you, Matt Fisher, for loving good love. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, man. Um, it's all good in the hood over here, man. Uh, let's see. Both. We also have a good question back here. It says, what is both of your stories on your first experience playing an instrument? Man, that's – Good Ooh. story on that. That's a good. That's a good question. Um, my first experience playing an instrument. So when I was really young, I started on actually playing violin, and that was like a nightmare. If I'm being honest, I really was not into it. <laughs> violin like, is hard. It's man. so hard, that's and it. if you suck at violin, like everybody can hear you suck. It's not like one of the things you can like hide being, being like bad at. So, but you know what that did for me, man? That made me like really hone in my musicianship and yeah. like really develop the ear. And so, yeah. Thanks mom for making me practice all the time. I think it's also, uh, when I think of my first instrument, I just think about the excitement of getting your first instrument and being really stoked about it. And absolutely, you know, and just uh, how exciting that, that feeling was, you know, great, good feeling. No doubt. Um, yo, T dubs, man. Yeah. We have to, we were just, we were just in Colorado and we had a, some good, good hang with Joel. And, um, he did a couple, he did front of house and engineered a couple shows for yeah, us while big, we were there. Big so love nice. to Joe, to, uh, to Joel for, uh, having us hang at his place while we were up there and getting to work in the studio, his beautiful studio, which is, um, the name of his studio is, uh, Scanlon sounds. Scanlon, uh, Hope, Scanlon, uh, Scanlon Hope. Scanlon Hope Studios. I think that's right. Chris, what's the name? Come through here. Chase the art. Um, okay, Scan, Scan Hope. Hope Studios. Scan Hope. Righteous. Yeah we, were, yeah, we were close. Um, and Tim Brackett. Shout out to Tim Brackett, who's been doing a lot of live dub. And Tim Egan. Yeah, yeah. I, you can totally re – Tim, Tim Egan says, former uh, viola player, hears you on that with the violin. Yeah. Yo, Barge, you get out some dubs, bro. Virus free. Let us know. We're virus free. <laughs> Come do some dubs. All right, no doubt. Flights are probably pretty cheap right now. I mean, Where we at, bro? okay. T Dubs, G Clark, represent. Love you. Mm. We might need some XXL T-shirts and merch. Just saying. We got you. We, we definitely got Coming you on in. that. We got some three X, two X. Coming in hot on that for sure. Yeah, we uh, we do have some secret dub mixes coming out soon. That's for sure. Um, 
Am I allowed to say that? Absolutely. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that we have a really cool dub coming out? Um, Whitney yeah. Young asks Eli, "What color is your underwear?" Well, that seems <laughs> like more of a paid thing to me. This is a free live session. We're not. Mariah cost you some gold coins. Mariah, oh, where did the inspiration come from to use Giant Panda in the band name? That's a question we get a lot, and the it, it, the inspiration comes from the the uh, the book Another Roadside Attraction yep. by Tim Robbins. Uh, it's a book about the travels of a band, uh, and I believe the band was Giant Panda Gypsy Blues Band. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the origin of of the name. Yeah, that's a that's Mariah. a that's a pretty common question. To be yeah. Uh, Cal California and Colorado was amazing. That was a great time. Um, yeah, we, we played two shows in Colorado, one at this cool town called Silverthorn and one in Denver proper, which was really nice and, um, had a good time at AZ Roots. Shout out to Damien Jr. Gong and Steel Pulse for headlining that one on our day there. And also our friends Pacifier, who sounded really fun, amazing, and, um, Again, Article Sound System and our boys Da Best, who we just got done touring with them. They're they're amazing, amazing, excellent music. brothers. Da Best. Yeah, really, really pro. And like, go check their go check their stuff out. San Diego was a rager. Chase the art. Da Best. Yeah, we hope to get back with Da Best and and, and do some more shows with those guys. Go um, way back with them. So, uh, where did you record and mix the new tune "Good Love"? Good question. Um, and thank you for showing the love. Um, we. Track that song um, with Matt Goodwin of The Movement and also a longtime homie and friend at Black Dog Studios in Rochester, New York. Um, mixed by Adam Toon um, of Keys and Crates up in Canada and Ryan Gway of our of our of one of our other favorite brands, Street Pharmacy, based in uh, Canada. Yeah, dub tracks are coming in hot. Um, got some dub tracks got some, coming. Uh, Pachi man. Got yep. some collabs coming. We got some uh, uh, Ashley's asking any new collabs. Yes, new collabs. And, and we got some things in the works for sure. Again, lots of lots of new music coming. Just you know, just gotta get it out here soon. Eric Adams asks, um, what's up, Eric? Uh, mm -hmm. Reggie, yeah, Reggie, that's an awesome name. Very fitting for Re Reg Reggie Reggae. I like it. Um, all ages show in Chicago. I, I feel like a handful of shows are all ages, unless yeah, I'm just yeah. Like, it'd be nice. A, it'd be nice to do an all ages show. Some a lot of times, uh, some of the outdoor festivals yeah work well um, for the family vibes and stuff. Cyril Jam, Cyril James, you're the best, man. Miss you, bros. Chance, a chance is live. Okay, um, bass man is in the house. So watch what you say about bass players. Because the bass man's here. Do you guys prefer a scientist or tubby? Chris Bargy, you're going to ask that kind of question <laughs> on here? Don't start nothing. <laughs> scientist or tubby, man? Mm. That's a tough one. I can't really. Tubby for me. Can't choose. Try, um, I'll probably say scientist, though. Uh, what is, so, Cyril, got to get, oh, got to try to use your question. Okay, got you. That came from Cyril. Um. Ashley asked, "Would love to hear you guys and Ryan Gway do something." We did something with Gway. We did "Good Love." He had a, he he did some. Um, he's actually featured on that track doing a high harmony during the chorus, which is a fun fact. And I forgot to say that. Gway, Ryan Gway is on that is on that tune. Um, T Dub to link up with Clinton was was legendary, man, and definitely a dream come true. It'd be it'd be great if we could if we could uh, do that again with him, man. Just a uh, a wonderful guy and just a great example, and uh, you know, for all of us younger musicians, man. So it was, it was great. Right on. Yeah, that I uh, left the tour. Okay, bands to tour with. Some of our bands to tour with. Yeah, take it away. I think to tour with, man. Um, I'm in the movement. Always wonderful guys to tour with. Um. The Expanders, we did a the Expanders, we did a great tour with the Expanders and, and of course our brother Simkin Project, our longtime brothers, dear friends. Yeah, really nice to meet nice to meet those guys out in San Diego for the first time. Really cool, cool fellas, Simkin Project. Uh, massive link. Oh, oh Dill, you want to talk about how you guys got pulled over? We got pulled oh with with Clinton. <laughs> 
That that was pretty classic. Uh, Chris driving, smoking lots of spliffs. <laughs> dare I say? And uh, Clinton Furon, and um, uh, Clinton Furon in the back, and and we get pulled over. I forget what city we were in, but we just happened to get pulled over, and uh, we were all driving in the same van through this tour, so it was real special in that way. And we get pulled over, and Chris, like a pro man, just handles the situation, and. Um, and everything was cool. Everybody kept their cool, but it was just one of those kind of legendary road stories, you know, that, you know, uh, with Clinton and Clinton was super cool. And that, you know, again, that tour was just amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine deep. Ooh. It's been a- Mike Martinez was there, right? Martinez was there. Chris takes a bow on that one. I'm uh, I'm charging up the the old computer here. This stuff drains you. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw you guys are on the new elevators. Awesome. Back with Danny Danny Cobb. Righteous. Yeah, that was. Uh, you guys. When great, did you guys? Great, when did you guys? Track, man. Yeah. Great when track, did you guys track that? We tracked that shoot for about a year ago, I'd say. And it just came out. It sounds wonderful, man. Um, those guys are great. That's another band that we'd love to play with uh, soon. To you know, I'd love to link up with for sure. Yeah, yeah. Singing country music. Jackson, yeah. Was that what, was that when you guys got pulled over? You guys were singing, singing, singing country tunes. Is that that's what Cyril's saying? That's for, I think that's very likely. Yeah. Uh. Righteous. The tour would be yeah, amazing. Man. Yeah, those guys are great. Tim. Love Jackson's voice, man, for sure. Jackson yeah. from the elevator. He's got an amazing voice. Re- really, yeah. Amazing really voice. And the, and the tune was awesome. Kalamazoo? Kalamazoo, yeah. yeah. We used to go to Kalamazoo, Michigan. Quite a bit, man. Always good times. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Matt. Request from the Merry Rockers, sir. Next tour, uh, next tour to West Coast. Um, next time we're going to be on the West Coast? Is that the question? I believe probably is what you're asking. Um, what do we have on the book? We have, so like, we're still nothing left for this year, I believe, um, on the West coast, but definitely some cool East coast stuff happening in the spring, summer and fall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's going to be probably next year, right? Still. Uh, yeah. I'd imagine uh, 2021 for sure out on the West coast. I, I would hope. Yeah, I'd love to get back on the West Coast, do a longer, longer run. No doubt, West Coast is uh, a very fun time. We had a blast out there with uh, the best and article sound system. There's never a good outlet when you need it. It's like always just in the wrong, wrong place at the wrong time. Let me see. Uh, bear with us here. Oh. Let me see something here, fellas. Is this going to work out? Mm-hmm. Look at this pretty scene here we've created, Della. Look at this beautiful arrangement. All right. All right. Charging. Music. Full force, full force. Um, let's see. Ooh. Little fly music. Uh, seasons change. What's the story behind seasons change? James is on right now. Can probably. Oh yeah. Hook you up on that for sure. 
Chris Pargy has a question for Tony G. Where is the best spot you've gotten a grilled cheese on tour? Fair. Um, Tony, Tony, you're going to have to answer that one via, via comments. Um, another question is, are the live in at all? Or is that always fresh on the spot? That, that tends to be fresh on the spot. Yeah, fresh on the spot. I will say sure. with, without any hesitation that those are definitely fresh on the spot. Those are, yeah. Which makes it fun for all of us because we all like improvising. Um, oh, right on. Clinton is doing. Oh, is he streaming? Clinton He's streaming? streaming Friday night. Nice. Oh, Whitney Young. Eli, your apartment decor has such a feminine touch. Well, I happen to be <laughs> living with you, so. You're welcome for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, Chase the Art uh, answers that question nice. Eric, they are improvised, but then stuff kind of sticks, and we go in a theme for a while. Yeah. Best fun you play to date. Uh, oh, well, That's for good. my one year in the band, it, um, we had a really, good, a really good time at the Hamilton. Um, the Hamilton. But then, like a different – for different reasons, like yeah. like that one was awesome, but also like other ones are very cool for for different reasons. Hamilton's like a really cool like club, intimate, yeah, yeah, quite, very yeah. like in the heart of, of downtown DC. DC yeah, um, but what there's other ones that have been really cool as well. Uh, Chase guy, I got to agree with Chris on that. Red Rock's definitely a big highlight to play there. Um, Story behind All Night Music. Story for All Night Music. That one, not too much of a story on that. That's just, uh, you know, kind of in the spirit of, you know, um, roots rock reggae, just, you know, celebrating music more than anything. Uh, all Night Music. Yeah, great Good to All Night Music. Good feelings. That one's got a, 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 nice, a nice feel. I mean, all the, I mean, come on. You know? <laughs> that's, that's one that we... We play from time to time. It's it's been out of the rotation a little bit. Uh, James, in response to um, seasons change, right, James? Nice, James. Yeah. Uh, is is has stated ironically that song is from 2004 and about climate change, keeping it real and playing reggae music throughout anxiety. It's a real nice springboard to jam. That is, yep. as a young kid, that was probably my favorite band to jam. So kudos to James. James, thank you. Yes, kudos for me to bring out this feminine side. Um, I actually, if you look over here, we have a nice accent red. Oh, accent red, which matches the red drapes with the balcony. Um, yeah, vibes. Um... What's an old tune you'd like want to bring? Uh, Dylan, where's the, oh, Dylan, what's an old tune you'd want to bring back if you could? An old tune to bring back, huh? Which song is the most romantic, too? Oh, boy. Now we're getting into the X-rated <laughs> portion of the... Subscribe to follow the rest of this chat. Which tune is the most romantic? Um, honestly, though, um, James has a really cool story on Greatest of Days about and this is like not romantic, um, but it more like um, like a really cool homage to to um, his daughter, right? Yeah, Greatest of Days. Yeah. It's, it's just a very, just like a very, very like loving Lots tune. Of love in that yeah. song for sure. Not romantic, yeah. not like romance love, but like a very loving tune. Yeah, man. Um, what's the one the tune to bring back? I, I would, I would go War with War Machine. Machine. Good call, Eric Adams. War Machine is one. I have to agree with you. Uh, we had a lot of fun playing that tune uh, as a country set in Ithaca at the range. Both I'm James and Dylan do have some very romantic numbers. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to say for a romantic number of mine would have to be "Get Me Through." Yeah, very romantic. What's the story behind All Night oh, Music? Oh, yeah. Um, Maurice, All Night Music is really just, a, again, a celebration of music. 
kind of in the spirit of uh, roots rock reggae. Just uh, you know, good good feelings. Yeah. All my life, a deep. That's an oldie. That's a good one. Big tune. All my life. Oh, um, all night. Mu all night music was played last at, at a festival called Purple Pig, which takes place in Naples, New York. True. Which is no longer a thing, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's no longer happening. Love yes, you more. Love, love you more. You more romantic, pretty, right? Whitney. Yeah. Indeed. Tell us next show we do it dubs. Yes, some broken English from Chase the Art. Yeah, just Cyril, Cyril agrees with me on the um on the on the greatest of days. Yeah. Which is nice when the song the primary songwriter can agree with on what this tune how the tune feels. Oh, let's not forget donate to giant panda at roofire.net forward slash TV. We appreciate it in these times. Uh, please play Missing You More. Great tune. This one is for Chris. How, how'd the bell come about? Always love it, dude. Picked myself one up years ago because of you guys. Great nice. question. Chris, nice. you want to answer that one, man, via comment? <laughs> um... Yeah, Cyril Jam, how do you make your hair so luscious and voluminous? <laughs> uh, interesting question. Yes, it won't be like oh. very snuggly. Chris was saying, actually, I was saying next show he's at. Okay, because <laughs> I didn't really see what he was saying. Um, yeah, j uh, good response, Cyril. It's actually the bass that does that, natural reaction, frequencies and such. Yo, Tim, thank, thank you, man. Much love right back to you, yeah, brother. Yeah, thank you, Tim. Aaron Lip gave what? What did Aaron Lip give you? Oh, the bell. Gifts from Aaron Lip. Oh, that's a good question. Where were you guys when you came up with the idea and wrote Sunshine Dub? That's one that... Oh, man, I can't say that I know the story behind yeah. that one personally. Uh, I'd have to uh, defer to James on the story of uh, Sunshine Dub. Oh. Chris. So we're all here together, right? I mean, except for Tony, right? Tony was there. Or Tony was. Maybe Tony's just taking a nap. Man, this really, uh, this really gets the battery here doing the live stream. Got you. Yes, it won't be long. Very snuggly, too. I'd say that's probably my... That's pretty romantic. That's one. super romantic. Store CC guitar from probably Columbo. Tony. <laughs> Tony's asleep. Confirmed. All right. Any 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 burning questions right now? Because I feel like we've done a good job like time. catching up. Yeah, that would be the time. If anybody has any burning questions, oh, good question, Mike Martinez. How do you guys practice when you aren't all together? Well, we don't. <laughs> Turns out we don't. We'll, we'll try and get in some a little bit of work in the, during the sound checks, you know. Um, so we try to be productive in the sound checks. But the reality is that yeah, we we. Um, uh, we don't get too much uh, rehearsal time in because we're we're also spread out, you know, in different states and different places. Which, uh, um, which is kind of cool, actually, the fact that you know, because it adds to the sort of like the the uncertainty of like the set list in, in a cool in a cool way, which is sort of like almost like a cool anxiety for some for me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like it's it's cool to be able to have the time to to rehearse and sound check. But by the first or second show, we're usually dialed in pretty well, you know. Thank you so much, Mary Rockers. Appreciate your uh, contribution. Thank you, Maurice. Sunshine Dub is most certainly from a night-to-day, early-morning guitar session. 
where the E-flat chord felt like a ray of sunshine written on 51 State Street, Rochester. Nice. Thank you, Loopy Laura. Laura, thank you. Much love Thanks to you. Listen, Much love to you. Yeah, also to answer the rehearse, um, <laughs> yeah, very carefully is how we practice. <laughs> um, also, I feel like uh, when, whenever we, we're in the studio, it's a nice, it's a good chance to like make use of time. I feel like being in this band for a short period of time um, has like forced me to kind of like figure it all out as we, as we move along. And I think being in the studio is for me is really helpful. Cause yeah. I get to hear everything come out. We kind of just sit down and like figure out what, what should be coming down the pipeline, what to bring back. Cause some of the times like um, there's, there's the option to bring back a tune that like I have never played, but there's the challenge in and of itself, which is like I was talking about earlier, kind of like a fun anxiety. A certain <laughs> freshness, excite, excitement, yeah. I, I imagine. Ow, I'm on my back. Ah. you guys ever go to the UK? Love to get to the UK. Yeah, yeah it'd be definitely, awesome. Definitely something we've wanted to do, and um, hopefully we we will get there soon. Um, yeah, UK would be UK would be a blast, right? You know, at some point in the in the future would be would be dope. Uh, I think. Well, oh yeah, that was that's what I was going to say. I think Cheryl Cheryl was talking t with. Jason from the Slackers, yeah, at some point about putting together something over in the UK. Slackers are an amazing band. If you have if you have not heard of the Slackers, really cool like ska vibe of like some really cool reggae rhythms as well. And um, they they kill over in the UK. So at some point we we had opened up the conversation about getting together with Jason and sharing some context about. Going over to the UK. Yeah, I don't know how you do live. Remember the lyrics to, to is, yeah. "Next Blast Explosion" lyric, uh, James. Apparently, you lived that, bro. <laughs> Come back to Wilmington, Come back North to Carolina. Wilmington. Yes. Yeah, got to get back to signal signal fire. We got to we got to link up with you guys and do a proper uh, South tour for sure. One of these days, man. Yeah, definitely check out the Slackers if you haven't heard of the yeah, Slackers. Slackers legendary for legendary sure. band, no doubt. <laughs> Who's gonna fight Lemmy or I'm God? I'm giving that to Lemmy, man. For Hands sure. down, Lemmy. No question. I mean, what do you mean or God? Isn't Lemmy God? Um, they were current reggae groups. Yeah, it's your question. Um, favorite? Yeah, what do you what do you think? I mean, I love the I love the movements. Uh, last record, I love. I love the expanders. Yeah, shout out to the movement. Um, the uh, the uh, Mortimer again is someone we've just discovered, and and I really like stuff he's putting out. Been really digging on Mortimer personally. Um, uh, how do you write the set list? Yeah, yeah. Also, shout out to Rootfire for having the woman in reggae playlist. That was really cool. That was yeah, man. That was nice. Um. Back to writing the set list. Yeah, Zill, you wanna take you wanna offer some insight here? Um Yeah, the yeah, the set the set list, I think um we generally uh try and we try and do it in advance, but often we end up just kind of doing it prior to, to the set. <laughs> the honest answer. Oh. The, right, honest, the honest answer, answer right, Chris is giving from, you the real. Chris. James writes it, and then Dylan changes it while Tony's really nervous about it. <laughs> well, that that's that's way better answer. That's exactly that's right. That's accurate. Best to be real. Um, thank you to Tim Egan. You always have friends in South Florida. Please tour with Expanders against you. Really bummed we can't we couldn't make it out to Reggae Rise Up. Um, just a weird time for everybody, you know, and like we're all trying to figure it out. When and how did the album with James and Aaron get recorded? The old one with Nothing Comes Easy is also some got some dubby jams on there. I don't know what the album is called, though. Very funny. Are we talking about Bright Days? Uh, 
Are we? Yeah, I'm not sure if we're talking about bright days or, or country. Nothing comes easy as bright days, right? That is bright days. Yeah. Eric, that's something got leaked from the uh, outset. Oh, Shorts on stage. What's the shorts on stage policy? My Absolutely. Policy is a no, fucking shorts no, on stage no fucking policy. shorts on stage. Are you kidding Sorry. me? Get out of here with it. If you ever <laughs> listen. <laughs> um Love Red Ninja. No, it's early reggae style. Before Red must Days. Be talking about uh Eric, we must be talking about country, man. Yeah. Country we recorded in uh in Colorado at Scanhope Studios in 2011 i think and um that was um that was just a real casual session that we just most of it was done live uh in a, in a couple two or three days and um yeah all in the same room farmington dubs yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, we're talking about the Farmington Roots mix. Right on. I've been I've been hoping for a live up volume three, huh? True. Yeah, I think that's something that's due. For, we're due for live up volume three. I have you have to dig for live up volume one. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Root Fire. If, um, if you're looking to donate and to support some uh, musicians like ourselves, you can donate to Giant Panda at RootFire.net. Forward slash TV, hundred percent goes directly to us. Yeah, it's, absolutely. Chris. Yeah, Lip is a is totally a god. The, the the question should have been Lip or God, not Lemmy or God. <laughs> you got the wrong one. <laughs> Just puked in my mouth oh, nice. thinking about how good Lip is at any instrument he touches. <laughs> That's funny. We should get Lip on this uh, chat. He could probably answer a lot of questions. Definitely, man. We still uh, anyone who would like to collab. Anyone who would like to collab with? Dude, I want to collab with Mortimer. Mortimer, um, we've all uh, collaboration with Clinton Furon. Yeah, Laura yeah, would yeah. be really cool. That's something we've talked about. And that being so fly in the studio and being nice and a blast to record with. Agreed. Agreed. And in regards to Aaron Lip. Also, Laura, it'd um, be cool to collab with the, the movement on something as well. Oh, Dan and Lip did a mountainside acoustic thing that went that, um, and it's on YouTube. So check that out. Dan and Lip. Keller and Lip. They should have called it Keller and Lip, did they? Because that's like the perfect acoustic. Lip or God. God yes. Righteous. Oh yeah, that that thing was yeah that with Dan and Lip. It's called cool. Ditka. Is that or what's that? <laughs> what, what's this? Googling Ditka. Wavy quicks. Um, are you on lockdown? Define lockdown, Wavy. Chicago. Oh, oh, Chicago. Chicago Mike Ditka. Recording. Got it. Lip is recording with Cass Haley right now. That's amazing. That is insane. I totally believe that, and I am stoked to hear what yeah, comes out. I saw that he's in, in Texas there. Recording That's there. amazing. Coronavirus. Oh yes. Yeah, we 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 you know definitely uh, no gatherings more than fifty people in this area. So things are getting kind of serious, but you know we're just staying positive and yep, yeah through this. You know it's wild. It's all it's really strange times. So it's another question. Um, if there's any if there's any way in which you you uh, people out there would in, would like Panda to. Make life uh, a little easier for you in the next few months. Let us know. T base for oh. James. See, I have. That's I'm going to let James one. take this one because I have personal. I have personally invested in that question because that Mustang base used to belong to me, and I gave it to James once I joined. And I'm just going to say I might be. I might feel a certain way depending on how uh, 
James answered that answers that question. Oh, what is the strangest panda gift you'd gotten from a fan? Strangest panda. Like recently, we got a really cool gift. Um, our homie James in Colorado made us some personalized mugs out of clay. And um, he made like it, like inscriptions for us on the bottom that were like completely personalized. So not like the – that was like probably the coolest gift I've gotten as yeah. like the new um, – uh, e Eli, Eli, oh, P base. Okay, all right, sir. So. Well, yeah, so if something makes you feel like you can do anything, that seems like the right answer. But I'm trying to try not to take it personal. Yes, Chris, I did make crazy money on that base. There was a sliding scale uh, between uh, the price every time. Um, initially, have you been when paid I, in full for that. Yet? I don't think I've, you know, I, yeah. After that answer, I think James owes me still a little money now that I think about it on that on that Mustang bass. Eli, who are some of your guitar influences? Um, great question. I, I'm, uh, I've been really digging on for a long time Mr. John Frusciante of Red Hot City Peppers and, and all sort of like variations of him as, an, as a solo artist and as a player with um, Mars Volta and with uh chili peppers obviously and i was thinking about this the other day man josh homie i was i was listening to his guitar playing today josh homie from queens of the stone age like is one of the coolest like modern guitar innovators i think of like a heavier like drop tuning and it's not even something that i like play too often but man the guy can really slam on guitar and uh is a really cool songwriter Dylan, what is your favorite tequila? <laughs> My favorite tequila. Oh, man. Um, that's a tough one. I always go with the, the Reposado, I think, is what we normally get on the road. And, of course, I don't drink. Um, and, yes, Chris, I did buy a Porsche with that money from the base. <laughs> I just didn't want to tell anybody about it because I didn't want to make a big deal out of something small. <laughs> These are all really good, really good questions. Great yeah, questions. we've been we've been chatting for about an hour, man. Thanks for hanging, everyone. Yo, are we are we? Is it time, Dill? Or should we? Uh, Any what other? Do, what do you think? Let's give it a few more minutes. Selena confirms. Yes. Hey, Selena. Yeah. Much love. Brother Bob, what's up, bud? Bob Savage. Can we expect some streaming shows in this if this crazy? Absolutely, man. I, I would I, yeah. I would say that we can expect some, you know, some uh, acoustic online no doubt streaming things and some past shows. Um so yeah, I would be on the lookout for that. That'd be something fun to do. Yeah, no doubt. That that should that should uh we're gonna try to be creative, I think, as a whole as a whole collective and try to think about things we can do. Uh, moving forward, because obviously music never stops, never should stop. Nice, yeah, yeah, boys. Mm hmm. Describe your band members as sure as possible. Describe your, describe your band members in as few words as possible. Like each member using f few words as possible. Or like as like all of us. Describing all of us in as describe few words. Describe your band members in as few words as possible. Um. I would call us yes, <laughs> I would call us giant panda gorilla dub squad. <laughs> Cyril says giant panda girl that's one. One word each. Buddha fly. Yo, Buddha fly. How's it going? Yes, man. Um, we got to get to Puerto Rico. Yeah. I, uh, myself and my brother grew up in Puerto Rico and, uh, definitely, uh, it's been a dream to take Panda to the islands, man. So hopefully this will, this will happen at some point. Dylan equals cool. Hell yeah, he does. 
Um, yeah, it would be it would be great to go to Puerto Rico at some point. Um, back to like that question: Is the oh is the entire band on the East Coast? Um, except for Cyril, who lives not on the East Coast, <laughs> and he can tell you if he wants. Which I don't think it's he can, like he can reveal. His, <laughs> I don't think he can reveal his. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's like a really weird secret or anything. I just I, I don't want to like <laughs> the heart, Heartland. There you undisclosed go. location. Yeah, the Heartland. So let's keep it general. Is that attraction here. Nice, Little cool. Side attraction, nice, Jeff. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Roadside attraction. What's the theme over there? <laughs> Kelly would go to Puerto Rico to see. Yes, Kelly. Righteous. That's very kind. How are the hot, hot dogs, dogs at roadside attraction? Oh, nice. Oh, nice, Loopy Laura. Nice, nice, Laura. Love Rodigan, man. Much respect to Rodigan. It was a, a real, real pleasure to. Uh, to be on his show, man, and get get some uh, get some love from him. Sweet, <clears throat> King Rodigan. <laughs> Yo, no problem, Hello, Eric Adams. Eric. Yes, Eric. Thank you, man. Thank you for doing it. Um. Oh, yo, that's really kind of you, Chris. I donate my studio down here in Ithaca for you guys to come down and play a live stream from during nice, these Chris. times. Yo, that's very, right that's on, very huge. Thank you. James would like to know, what are y'all going to eat tonight? tonight? Well. Let's stick it a little sushi. Yeah. A sushi on the mind. I uh, actually got out and I went to this store and I managed to get my hands on some salmon. Got a Wegmans rotisserie chicken. There you go. Got some broccoli Classic. and some asparagus. So yeah, yeah, totally down for that. By the way, Bargy, Ithaca live stream that would be yeah. tight. We all got nothing but time. Hey, Cyril, what are you? What are you gonna eat tonight? What you eat, bud? <laughs> What do you think? What's on the menu over at the Cyril House? <clears throat> Not sure yet. Not sure Looking yet. for inspiration. Yes, yes. Well, if you're if you're thirsty, try a can of Spindrift raspberry sparkling water. Sesame, and cauliflower. sesame cauliflower. Good Sounds selection. Good. Oops. Is what he's thinking. Okay. Well, make sure you live stream that because I don't think we're going to all want to see. Spanish rice. There you go, Guisado. Good move. Yo, where's the invites? Come over and eat with you, William Money. All right, let's take a few more questions, and then uh, what are you thinking, Del? Got a few, yeah. Are you going to keep yeah, going? Yeah, wrap it up and a few, get a few more in. and. Uh... James, if it gets worse, I got plenty of supplies in the Heartland. There you go. Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Jeff Bond Pizza. Do you like pineapple on love, that pizza? <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is a crazy, crazy I world. I can eat pizza pretty much every day. I can eat I pizza every time. day. And I don't get, I don't care if there's pineapple on it or ham. Times of con yes, oh that's an old yes, James, that's an old one. Times of confusion. How fitting. My wife. Ah, William Money. We have to come out to Charles. Yeah, that sounds that sounds delicious, William. 
Well, if we had the means. Nice. Would love to hear a memorable, memorable gig story. Good, bad, ugly. Doesn't matter. Anything, anything from uh, this past run that you can think of? Uh, from the past run. Okay, here's an ugly one. We drove. Oh, okay, we drove overnight from San Diego to Phoenix. Does that sound right? Yeah, that sounds right. And okay, from my perspective, it was re it, like we were all like rolling on like what a hundred, well, one hour of pretty exhausting sleep, right? So we go up to we roll up to this hotel, and they claimed that we had not made the reservation. <laughs> and let me tell you what. Never seen Searle so upset in my life. I saw this one. I saw this man. And we lost an hour. And we lost an hour. So we checked into a hotel, slept for 45 minutes after driving all night, and then made our way to Arizona Roots Festival, which is not done. Our set was originally supposed to be, what, an hour and – An hour. An hour. Which, which, uh, you know, you know, that this is not a, this is no. just the nature of the circumstance. There was a huge rainstorm in, um, Arizona. Oh, yeah. Cyril says they said we were too late we were too, yeah. checking into the hotel because apparently we should have, you know, like give us a break. Uh, rooms were paid for, uh, in advance. That was probably the most crazy. And, you know, m meanwhile, we're going through like the delirium of having only had like 20 minutes of sleep. It was like a wild. That's the road, though. You gotta roll. You gotta roll with the punches. Well, that's you know? how it goes, and like that's just part of it. And that's... I was sitting up in the front seat at one point, and I woke up. Chris was driving, and as I woke up, as he's pulling into a rest stop, and he looks at me with these crazy eyes. And he's just like, "Dude, I think I gotta." He's like, "I think wow. I gotta pull over, man." <laughs> it's just wow. like, you know, it's not easy the road. It's not easy, and that was like, that was a that was a wild time. Um. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so James called the people and told them that we would be there at 4 a.m., I assume, and we got there at 7.30. And that was just, woo! Every minute Every counted minute, is, yes. is correct. That is right. Indeed. All right, guys, we'll probably yeah. be wrapping up in, like, two minutes, so get your final questions in here while you can, while you got them. And uh, we're going to call, call, it, call it in. Thank you so much to everybody who came and uh, – yeah, showed their love in this weirdly weird time that's going on right now. Yo, Yo Brian, my, thanks for the love, brother, man. We yeah. appreciate you. Appreciate y'all yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate y'all hanging, man. Thank you so much. Everybody stay positive out there, man, and uh, we'll see you at a show real soon. Yeah, keep it real. Donate to uh, giantpandarootfire.net forward slash TV. 100% goes to us. Thank you, thank you. Who inspires us, Loopy Lord? You inspire us. Oh, that's a us. great, good question. Yeah, man, all, all the all the legends, all the reggae greats, all you know, all the legends: Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, all all the greats, man. Now go wash your hands, says Barty. Oh, Cyril would just uh, would like to include. Uh, one time, Dylan was sick in our van, broke down, and then we played for three hours. And what does that say, Dill? And, and Played for three hours in Peonia. Peonia to a sold out mushroom crowd. Sold out, absolutely. Does mushroom, mushroom crowd, crowd, what does that mean? Yes. It means what you Does it mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds fun. Peace and love, Matt Fisher, to you as well. Yes. All right. Cool. Yeah, man. All right, Thank guys. You all. Much Thank love. you so much. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm glad we, we could help in this weird, really weird time. Peace and love. Thank you. Y'all stay good. Peace. Bye. Much love. <laughs>